Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Bernadeschi car to review today. So we are taking a look at a car that is six foot one, high medium work rates, left footed with five star skill moves and a four star weak foot. So obviously the fact that he has uh, the five star skill moves makes the card incredibly usable in the game. In regards to traits, he does have the outside foot shot traits. So with him being a left footed player, mostly playing on the right side, cutting inside, going on his left foot to shoot to the near post angle with the outside foot finesse or the outside foot shot trait uh, will be a really nice thing to have. Now, in regards to using him on the sides, he's got 96 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. For base card stats, he's got 94 attacking positioning with 82 finishing, but he does have 99 shot power, 99 long shots, as well as 92 composure. So the finishing being low, could present to be a problem because like I said, cards perform mostly to their base characteristics, but the fact that he has the shot power boost on the card is a huge plus, of course, right? Attacking positioning by a plus five is definitely a welcome inclusion as well because it'll put it up to a 99. Uh, in regards to passing stats for a base card stats, they look great. You don't necessarily need to improve it. Uh, dribbling, now dribbling, I think the biggest thing on the card that would need to be improved would be the balance. But then if you were to improve the balance with like an engine chemistry style, wouldn't really make much sense because I think you'd want to improve his finishing as much as possible. If the finishing is not something that you worry about too much and you want to give him the engine for the plus 10 on the long passing and a plus 10 for the balance, you could totally do that because 92 composure is also pretty decent too, right? For dribbling, I still feel like the balance of the card is going to affect him because he is a six foot one player and his base card stats from the original card isn't that crazy, right? So this card right here, uh, it was usable. I think when I use this card in the beginning of the year, I think I used him in the right mid position and then I may have switched him to Cam in the actual game, right? But a big thing with this card is that it's no longer a five star, three star player it's a five star, four star player, which obviously makes a huge difference, right? When a player has a three star weak foot, if they did the same thing to Bernardo Silva, wouldn't be that interested in the card, right? Uh, defending on the card is actually not bad. So considering he's attacking, uh, he's an attacking oriented player, um, he's got decent defensive stats, right? Not too bad. Uh, but physical, he's got 82 strength. So that with his uh, six foot one height and what body type did he have, does he have? So on foot, but it says he has high and average plus. We'll see what that looks like in game. Uh, but then he also has 96 stamina. So with the 96 stamina, you could totally tell him to come back on defense. So because he's a right mid, I do want to try him out in different ways, right? So I want to see if he can play the 4 2 3 one first. And then if he can't play the 4 2 3 one first, then I will rotate him to the 4 4 2 Because sometimes when a player is already a right mid, they mostly feel like an actual right mid. I do see this card potentially being okay in the right cam position, but because of his height and potentially, you know, low reaction time for dribbling in regards to like being super agile, I think that he might make a better right mid, potentially even a striker to be fair, right? So we'll just see how he plays with the sniper chemistry style up top. Nice little 4 2 3 1 formation. We'll see how that plays in game. Um, the way that this guy, John, has it with Mateus and Alon. So that should be a good enough balance with the 4 2 3 1. So let's get into a game, see how he plays. Hopefully, he is a beast in the right attacking position. And as the game progresses, uh, we'll, we'll rotate him. <laughs> this guy actually managed to get this as a name. <laughs> oh, that's 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 gold. That's really gold. <laughs> oh man. All right, guys. So let's do a combination of regular FIFA and uh, review FIFA. Okay. So far, it makes an aggressive run forward here. So far, he definitely has the characteristics of an actual left mid because of the way that he's sticking really, really far out wide. Yeah, you can see uh, this is a card you have to use in the right mid position if you use him in a 4-4-2. If you want to use him in the midfield position, which again is perfectly fine. Um, we'll see if he constantly stays up there. He does. Oh, cuts inside right there. Sorry, I didn't want to shoot right there because I just wanted to see if he would actually make that aggressive run right there. Um, so far, it seems like he would definitely be a very good right mid, not so much as a right attacking mid because these are the, these are some characteristics you, you just catch right away. Uh, players that like to stick out wide 
usually are not the types of players you'd like to have in the right attacking mid, left, left attacking mid, but really, really nice to have when you play them in like a 4-4-2 formation. Uh, so what we'll be doing is we'll play some regular FIFA for a little bit, and uh, we'll, switch it, we'll switch them accordingly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, even in these attacking situations here, you can see that he really, really sticks to the side. Now, again, this is based off of play style. Like, if you like your left and right attacking mids to kind of, like, stick out to the side over there and try to occupy that empty space, then that's one thing that is something that you may like, but it's just not a personal preference of mine when I use these guys in these types of positions, right? Oh! I don't know what's happening. Oh, Bernadeschi does actually move into the middle once I start to push somebody else to the side there. So that actually could be an interesting variable if I switch to the 442. Skill move that actually came off really nicely right there. Off of the run, I was trying to do like a coqueta, which obviously is probably not the most ideal situation. Um, I'm actually going to switch him to the cam position this time. I don't recommend him in a 4231 on the sides. But he definitely feels like someone I'd want to use in the right mid position in a 4-4-2. Okay, so let's switch him to the cam position this time. So again, his high medium work rates should be an interesting variable to have in that situation. Because he likes to stick to the sides, I am curious to see how he will play uh, playing through the middle. So let's see what's up with him here. So in the cam position, he's the type of dude that likes to push to the sides. Very, very noticeable. You can see even in this situation right here, how he kind of sticks to the side up top. Doesn't really act like an actual cam. So it's going to be another position that I wouldn't necessarily recommend him in. Um, let's see if we can get a little thing going on over here. Shot across goal or shot uh, to the near post. In that situation, now maybe he uses his outside foot shot trait, right? So... Players that do that uh, sort of characteristic where they kind of like move to the side a lot is players like uh, Yeri Lippmanin. Um, ooh, really good defensive player right there, Bernadeschi. Yeri Lippmanin likes to do that. Uh, Julian Brandt's card likes to do that a lot too. We'll see if Bernadeschi does that consistently though. Yeah, he kind of acts like another striker, if anything. Oh. That little like push touch right there, that's what I'm talking about in regards to like the height and the balance. What I wanted to do right there was take a little quick touch and then go for the drag back angle to get it on his left foot. But he does like that push animation that you don't really want your players to do in those uh, clutch situations, right? Now again, guys, when I'm talking about the way that the player is behaving um, in regards to whether or not it's good or bad, it doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. I'm just letting you guys know how he's going to perform in the actual game, right? So in a 4-2-3-1 formation, it's definitely not how you're supposed to use this card. What I am going to be doing for this game in particular is we're actually going to be switching to the 4-4-2 if I could do it quick enough. We'll switch to balance, balance, 5 and 5, balanced, 5 and 4, bam, bam. Formation has to be the regular 4-4-2. Uh, we'll see how this is lined up here. So Bernadeschi, Mateus. So that's perfectly fine. So this would have to be like this. Like this, like this, like this. And that's it. Let's see how he plays in the 4-4-2 setup. Every time you move to the side with another player, Bernadeschi will instantly utilize the middle position. Super noticeable about him so far. He just seems like a very like well-balanced uh, right mid. Like He doesn't really feel like he's going to offer anything special to you, for sure. But he just feels like a, an incredibly usable version of himself in that area. Oh, we hit the poster with Alexis Sanchez on his left. That sucks. Would have been nice, though. This guy really sticks to the sides. You know what? It's one of those situations where you either use him as a winger or as an actual, like, left mid or right mid, you know? Uh, 
All right, guys. So for the last 15 minutes, let's play some uh, some serious FIFA. Just with the 4-4-2. We don't have stay central on the strikers, which would probably be a preference for sure. But we'll see how these guys perform. He actually makes that run right there. Oh, Verdi, man. Verdi's card, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, whew, let me tell you, this guy, this guy is an absolute beast. I think when I reviewed the card, I let people know that too. Like if, if, if there's any card that you want to do, it would definitely be that card. Um, so yeah, so far in regards to Bernadeschi, guys, um, he just feels like a balanced left mid or right mid, but he doesn't feel special if that makes sense like special is like a card like verdi like if i use verdi in the right mid position right now or even the right attacking mid i actually feel his presence in the game bernadeschi just feels like a usable presence of himself in the match if that makes any sense you know oh under pressure he actually does really well because of his base card stats for composure okay guys so you know, it's it's a funny card, right? So he just, like I said, uh, the, the expression that I like to use a lot with these types of cards is that he's not terrible, right? He's definitely not terrible. He just feels like an incredibly usable version of himself. And this is all going to be down to what your preference is going to be gameplay-wise, right? So some of the ways that he moves um, is not good enough to deal with certain situations. Like if I were to use him in the right mid position, like right now, and he's as stagnant as he is, you know, it doesn't move as much as uh, the Alexis Sanchez card, Kent card, Verdi card. I'm not really going to expect him to do that much in regards to someone defending for their life. Uh, you know, with players like Verdi, Sanchez, and Kent, you can expect them to move a little bit more. What I want to do next, though, is I want to try him out in the striker position this time up top in a two striker formation. We'll see how he plays. Okay, guys, so this will be the 4 4 2. Let's try him in the basic formation again. Balanced and balanced. Uh, we're going to be using five and four. Boom, boom. Balance instructions, and then we're going to be using Bernadeschi up top in the strike position on the right side because he's left footed. So if I want to cut inside, go for a finesse, I could, but it's that cutback where I go on his left foot for the outside foot shot trade that I'm looking for. Um, so what I want to do here is I just want to tell them to both stay central, uh, come back on the fence, stay back, come back, stay back, come back, or cover center, come back, that's it, and then stay back, stay back. Cool. Let's try that out. There we go. Beautiful goal. Beautiful, beautiful goal. Nicely done. There we go. We scored that opportunity, though, with Bernadeschi. Gets into the situation, scores that opportunity. Nicely done. All right, guys. So final verdict on the Bernadeschi card is that uh, he's a fun card to use. He doesn't feel terrible by any means, right? He just feels like an incredibly usable version of himself, right? So um, for me personally, and this is completely up to you guys, because as you guys know, I show you the way that the players behave off of basic instructions and tactics to kind of see what their characteristics are like. Um, in the 4-2-3-1 system, he's definitely usable through the middle. On the sides, he's very stagnant. He kind of likes to stick to the sides, doesn't really move constantly to kind of like open up the space in certain ways right um so you can definitely tell that his characteristic is to play mostly as a right mid or as a right winger uh in any sort of formation that has those two specific positions uh you could definitely use him in the striker position he actually feels incredibly usable there um i feel like on stay central he's still the type of person that likes to push to the sides but does also stay in the middle as well so there's kind of like a good balance there too but uh you know if you guys end up choosing to get the card Again, don't feel the dribbling 
Uh, don't think that the dribbling is going to be that responsive because it won't be because of base card stats for 88 balance and six foot one height, even with the sniper chemistry style. However, when you give him the sniper chemistry style, his shooting is actually quite solid with the 97 finishing, 99 shot power, and good dribbling stats. So he's definitely incredibly usable. In regards to the choices out of all three, it just depends on you, really. If you're making like a Serie A team or like a, Ju a Juventus team, he's a cool card to have in your team. But um, I don't think that he will give you that special oomph, if that makes any sense. Like Verdi, Verdi is just a beast. You know, anywhere you put him, he's going to perform for you like an absolute monster. Berendeski is not going to offer that to you, but he's definitely going to be incredibly usable. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.